We are back with more in my southern home and I'm here with Michael Ricks with Rough River Dam State Resort Park and thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you Kimberly for being here. So I was so excited to do a special Christmas in Kentucky episode because the parks that are here are just so beautiful and you do so much for the holidays. We do, uh, not just our park, but all of the parks, especially the resort parks, tend to do things uh, with, and uh, it's just a nice time for our out-of-state visitors, plus our, our residents of Kentucky to come and enjoy part of the holiday experience at our state parks. And you have a special Breakfast with Santa event yeah. coming up? Yeah, we have coming up uh, uh, the first weekend in December. On that, uh, we, it is a Breakfast with Santa, so we encourage people to, uh, the kids want to wear their pajamas, that's fine. They can have breakfast with us and then get to see Santa in the morning and, and uh, put in their holiday wishes. <laughs> and so it's fun. It's, we've been doing that. We used to do it at night, but we found it's much more fun to do it in the mornings. Well, they can stay the night here well, and sure. just walk here in their PJs. That's true. And that's what we, <laughs> we highly encourage that. Yeah. Well, and you guys have something really neat too. You have a big New Year's Eve party. We do. We've been doing that for, well, much longer than what I've been here. Uh, it's just, we have a lot of people come back year after year. And what we do is we do a special dinner uh, the night of New Year's Eve, and then we have a big dance and, and party afterwards and party until the, until the ball drops, so to speak. <laughs> and uh, this year we, we're doing a little bit something different. We're having a masquerade uh, portion of that. In other words, so if you want to come dressed up for New Year's, please, because all of us are going to be dressed up. That are that are involved in it. It should be fun. We have a night. We have a great band coming in. Uh, we have packages. People would. We're just about sold out on packages, but we have a few rooms left and a few cottages left. But if you just want to come and enjoy just the dinner and dance portion, have dinner with us, and then be there for the party afterwards, we have those kind of packages also. Well, it's so beautiful here, and we're talking a lot about Christmas in Kentucky, but you guys do amazing events all year long that are family friendly. Oh, we do. Uh, that is one of the things that, uh, I mean, our park is one of the smaller area-wise state uh, resort parks that there are in the state, so we, we try to do a lot of things. We, uh, we do a holiday craft show in the fall, uh, and then we do another craft show outside in the spring. And then we do, um, have been doing Sweethearts Weekend forever for the, around the Valentine holiday. Uh, then we plan other things like St. Patrick's, but then in the summertime we do a patio concert series on our patio every Friday night. But one of the consistent things that we have in this area and a lot of places in Kentucky do is, is great bluegrass musicians. And so we're blessed with the Breckenridge Bluegrass Music Association comes down here every second Friday and we have a bluegrass music show and it goes all year long, second Friday of every month. So we do that and in the summertime we have a lot of activities for kids during the, uh, during the end season. So yeah, yeah we, we try to make it interesting. Well, you're right on the water here and you have a marina and a restaurant so it's perfect for those families that like roughing it a little bit and um, you have beautiful cabins and you have rooms and there's just so much diversity here for people that want to enjoy the beautiful nature that Kentucky has to offer. Oh yes, uh, there is and it's not just on our park. Just around the area there are different trails and things that people can, can see and, and to take hikes on and our park is a, is a quiet park. To, to walk in and enjoy and perfect place for families and of course the pools open in the summertime and then just different things we have like you know I think you and I may have talked a little bit before this about our airfield out here we have we're blessed with an airfield and it's nothing for us to have five to twelve planes here on Saturday and Sunday morning just having breakfast with us so the, and then people that are visiting can always see those too Rick, it's amazing because when you come to a place that has this much nature, you never know what you're going to see. And the restaurant has these big open windows where you can really see the wildlife. Yes, it does. And uh, uh, right now, uh, 
I mean, we get that restaurant is very popular. We do. Uh, we have a guaranteed buffet on Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday lunch, and we have a lot of locals plus a lot of visitors there. And this is our winter operating time. So Grayson's Landing Restaurant is open from Thursday night through Sunday lunch every week. Now, we will take a hiatus after the 17th of December, and we'll open then again for New Year's Eve and then get back on that regular schedule. But uh, yeah, that's that it is, it's, we serve some good food. <laughs> and speaking of the conference center, that is where your big New Year's Eve bash is going to be. It is, we utilize that conference center a lot. Uh, it's, I mean, we are actually easily, we can seat and feed 300 in there. So we have a lot of wedding receptions, we have a lot of meetings, it's separable into two rooms, or you can be separated into two rooms. So we host a lot of meetings and then a lot of dinners and it's just, it's utilized to the max. Well, thank you so much, Michael, for allowing us to be here today. I just love the state parks and seeing them decorated and, and it's beautiful here in the fall, even on an overcast day. Well, thank you so much, Kimberly. And, and remember, you know, if you want to buy something in the gift shop, we'll certainly take all the money that you want to spend with us. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you, that. but thank you, Kimberly, very much for being here. We'll be back with more of My Southern Home in just a moment.